How many of you has a Facebook account with more than 200 friends? Okay. How many of you has a Facebook account with more than 1,000 friends? Okay, that's, uh, if you're having a large number of friends on your Facebook account, this means you'll be missing the main life events of your friends. However, I have a much more difficult problem because I have 100,000 friends per kilometer square. So let me introduce you to my new friends, which are the Internet of Things devices. These are devices equipped with communication capability, just like our cell phones. They are my friends because they are very helpful. They help me in a wide range of applications like smart traffic management and healthcare monitoring. The problem for me as a communication system is that the number of these devices is too many and I have a limited number of communication channels, which may result in missing some of the important messages reported by my friends, and they get angry. Imagine a health skill monitoring device that reports that an old lady is having a heart rate below threshold, and this needs to be reported to hospital in order to take an action. But I can't report that because I have a limited number of communication channels. It's as if everyone in this room is trying to talk to me at the same time. I will not be able to listen to anyone. What I'm trying to do is that I'm trying to solve this problem by allowing multiple devices to share the same communication channel. To imagine how this works, let's imagine that both of you are talking to me at the same time. If you are talking with the same voice level, I will not understand anyone. But if one is talking with high voice, high voice, and the other one is talking with whispering, I'll be able to listen to the message of the person talking with high voice, and then as a communication system I can deduct it and then understand the whispering person, so I get two messages at the same time. Then I can use the same number of channels to be shared by multiple devices at the same time. And by this way, I can be able to listen to messages from two, uh, from large number of my friends. Finally, I'd like to share a, uh, something. In 2009, uh, when a professor asked me why did I choose electrical engineering, and I told him I chose the field of engineering that's least related to human life. It's not mechanical, it's not construction, it's not medicine. <laughs> but after eight years here in my PhD, I may be doing work that helps, helps uh, more devices to be incorporated in our communication system and may help to save human lives. I'd like to thank all my friends who talked about the future of humanity and the future of Earth. But here, me as electrical engineer, I'm not the person who is making your computer faster, internet download faster. I'm a person who is trying to save some life. Thank you. Mm -hmm.